Our voiceover guy.com. Ray Sarangowski. Adobe Audition 3.0. Tutorial. If you suck, there is no plugin in the world that is going to help you not suck. Our voiceover guy.com. From our voiceover guy.com and the signature sound of smooth small talk, here's Ray Sarangowski with another Adobe Audition tutorial. Hey guys, it's Ray at our voiceoverguide.com. I'm back. And uh, we're going to probably put out two or three tutorials uh, in the next day or so here. And uh, just getting back into the swing of things. Been real busy working on some audiobooks and things like that. So I uh, wanted to show you a, a couple things real quick. I've been getting inundated with emails from uh, subscribers and love you all. Uh, I'm glad that uh, anything that I show here is, is helping out uh, some new folks here. Um, the great thing about posting on YouTube is that you know anybody that uh, has a mastery of this program is able to uh, share in the comment section below uh, what you should do, uh, what would make a sound better, uh, and I've even learned a few things from some tips uh, from subscribers. So appreciate all the feedback and uh, all the subscribers. Um, we're, uh, we're getting up there in numbers, so definitely appreciate that for sure. I uh, wanted to go ahead and show you one quick tip. Um, I get asked a lot, um, where do I get all my VST effects um, and how do you put them into Adobe Audition 3.0? Real simple. Um, the best thing to do, um, and I'll show you this, is go to my favorite search engine, Google, um, right here. And all you have to do is search for what you're looking for. Uh, we get a lot of people that are uh, DJs or uh, rap artists, R&B, looking for um, VST plugins for vocals, vocoders, uh, harmonizers, things like that. Simple search. If you look up, say, vocal VST, you'll see plugins comes up right away. And you can search right in here. Uh, in fact, you'll see one right here that's done by yours truly. Um, but if you click on that, there's a number of places that'll give you free VST plugins. Some are trial based, uh, like the Antares uh, programs. Uh, they're all demo for 30 days and then you have to buy it. Um, and some of these are worthwhile. There's some that are free that are absolutely fantastic. Um, so here's one good way uh, of doing it. Um, Here's uh, one, and I'll try to post these links um, in the description area so you guys can uh, quick click to them. Um, here's one that I have here, uh, the Kajaris uh, Audio Classic Series, and they have some nice uh, plugins in here. Now, the other question I get is, well, why do you go with these free plugins when Adobe Audition has uh, Chorus and Compressor and EQ and Flanger? Well, here's the idea. Uh, for those of you that are new uh, to using Audition 3.0, um, one of the great things is these plugins offer sound that some of you are looking for. And then what happens is you can look at the dial settings, learn what the compression, what the EQ and delay settings are. And then as you learn and as you work with Adobe Audition 3.0, you're able to make those changes yourself um, in the plugins that are already part of or already a part of uh, Adobe Audition 3.0. So here's what you do. You go to one of the installers here. Let's just say this one. I already have it, but I'll show you how to do this anyway. So here's one thing you do. Um, say, for instance, you want to do this um, RVS vocoder here. Uh, you click on it, and you can save it. Save it to your desktop. It's a zip file. It takes just a second. Once that's downloaded, go to your desktop, open up the zip file. Once you've opened that, you'll see a few different things here. You're going to see a .dll file. That's that that's the the folder that you want. Um, and then you also have you know contact information. Sometimes you'll see a setup file in here as well. Some plugins require that you do a setup uh, in your hard drive on their program because it's an external program that opens within your session. Uh, so what you would do is then go to the file, go to my computer, where you'd host these DLLs. So you go to my computer, you go to your C drive or wherever your uh, Adobe Audition is hosted, go to <clears throat> Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Audition 3.0, and then I have a folder in here that's called Plugins. 
and you'll see that I have a lot of folders here with all my plugins in here and then all of these DLL folders. So what you do is you could just minimize this, move it over, and what you do is just pull in the vocoder right into this folder here, your plugins folder. And I already have this here, obviously, um, but you'd click yes. And then once that's done, you're done with this here. You can uh, cut out of that. You can close this off, open Adobe Audition, and then you want to go to your edit view and then click on effects and refresh effects list. Now, depending on how many plugins you have in there, this could take anywhere from two minutes to 30 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to do this for you here right now because every time I refresh my effects list, it takes about 30 minutes just going through every single one of mine. There's a few trial ones that I have. It says, do you want to buy it or just quit? And it goes through that. But once you go through that, clicking that, um, you start up your session again and it will be listed here on the left hand side. Um, like the uh, Kajaris ones that I just showed you shows up. Here's the classic ones. But if you go, yeah, that's my VST. So here are VST plugins that I have. And here they are listed right here. Classic, Clone Ensemble, Compressor, and what have you. So they're all listed right here, ready for you to use. So I hope that helps answer that quick question. And get ready for the next tutorial coming up with another fun spot um, on actually taking some effects and using them with either vocals or keyboard or guitars to change them to something totally different. Thanks. If you have any questions, any uh, tutorial requests, hit me up at ray at ourvoiceoverguide.com. Come check out the website at www.ourvoiceoverguide.com. We'll see you soon. Ourvoiceoverguide.com, where your message is our specialty. Whether you need voice talent, voice artists, voice work, or radio imaging voiceovers, OurVoiceOverGuy.com is your source for all things voice.